Let's go now to Diamond and Silk. Ladies, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank, well, thank you, you. Thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. Well, we are excited to announce that tomorrow night, Wednesday night, August 25th, 9 p.m. Central Time, Diamond and Silk will exclusively appear here live with their very first one-hour nightly show, Monday through Friday. We are so excited to have you guys broadcasting on Lindell TV and frankspeech.com live. Oh, well, we are excited to be on Mike Lindell's TV and Frank Speech, where we now have freedom of speech yes. to talk about the things that we need to talk about, talk about the things that's necessary and the things that's going on in our country that the mainstream media, the left, including Fox, refuse to talk about That's so right. we're going to have a good time diamond yeah. and silk chit chat live at uh, nine o'clock central ten o'clock eastern and we want everyone to make sure you tune in oh man for sure now chit chat live and i'm guessing you guys are going to look at some of the news of the day and tell us what diamond and silk think about it absolutely oh yes not just the news of the day <clears throat> excuse me, but the things that they don't want us to talk about. Right, there's a lot of things that are out there that is really in the underground that they do not want people to talk about, want people to know about, right. or want people to even see. And then we ask ourselves, why do they continue to censor our voices? Well, guess what? We now have a place where we can voice our opinions, mm -hmm. we can voice our concerns, and we can talk about it and have an open dialogue about it. It's, it's about being able to agree to disagree if you have a disagreement, if you have questions about something. Right. You know, we don't have a place or a space for that, but now we do at frankspeech.com. Mm -hmm. So we want everybody to tell everybody right. about Diamond and Silk Chick Chat Live that comes on 9 o'clock Central Standard on frankspeech.com. Tell your mother, tell your grandmother, go tell a friend that Diamond and Silk is on frankspeech.com. That's right. Logan, I've lost their audio. Can you see why I can't hear them? I think you guys can hear me. I, for some reason, all of a sudden, I can't hear you. So I'm just going to ask you the next question. And then, Logan, you tell me when they're done answering. Um, I'm guessing you guys are also going to have some maybe some PowerPoint, show us the news stories. You're going to um, have some guests, some video clips. So, And I'm sure guests, right? You're going to be doing all those things, right? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely a wide array of things you all i think that is very important one thing silk said you know we have to have an open dialogue yeah it's time for the open dialogue and it's time to start presenting stuff with the proof you know when people put stuff out there mm -hmm. it seemed like they're being fact checked it seemed like that the only doctor that we have to listen to is flip flop false and we uh -huh. can't listen to other doctors we can't listen to other people's advice we can't talk about things that's going to keep us healthy. Why? Why? Why don't the left want us talking about these things? Why don't other social media uh, sites want us talking about these things? And why are they trying to uh, shut us down? You know, knowledge is power. Right. So if you're knowledgeable about some things, we want you on the show so that you can tell the audience what they can do to stay healthy, especially in the midst of this pandemic. Absolutely. So, ladies, will you... Um also be, of course, bringing some humor, I hope, because you're one of the shows I think that is going to bring some humor because I think if we don't start laughing, we're going to start crying. Well, you know, Diamond and Silk always got a way of putting things. Yes. And we want people to laugh to keep them from crying because right now when we look at our country, when we look at how it's being destroyed from within, yeah. we're looking weak around the world, fooling around with Jim Crow, Joe Biden. We ca I don't call him commander in chief. Mm -mm. He's a squatter and a thief. That's right. That's what he is yes. up there at that White House. Uh -huh. And he's not doing nothing good for this country. So we're going to talk about it all. And I'm not going to be afraid to talk about it. And yes, it's probably going to come out humorous, but we want you to but, do a little laugh. But one thing about Diamond and Silk, we've always been ourselves, right. our authentic self, and we're going to continue to remain ourselves. And if it comes off a little funny, then, you know, so be it. But otherwise, we're not scripted. That's right. the deal. We're not just robotic talking heads. What we are are true to this. Okay, not new to this. 
okay and what we're going to continue to do is tell it from our point of view give you our gut feeling about it our opinion mm -hmm. about it and stuff that we don't know or don't understand we can allege it yeah because the deal is we got to be able to have a conversation about it why can't we have the conversation What's wrong with but, that? But we can have it uh -huh. right, right here on frankspeech.com. That's right. Frank, you know, do you know that Mike Lindell, at the beginning of his show, had his attorney, one of many, Alan Dershowitz on. And mm -hmm. Alan was saying, you know, Mike, we don't agree on a lot of stuff, you know, politically and other things. But here is Alan Dershowitz saying, but you ought to have the right to say it. You ought to have the right to express your opinion. You ought to have the right to express express your beliefs. We ought to be able to debate in the arena of ideas, and yet That's they right. want to sue people and intimidate people and bully people with cancel culture and lawfare so we can't even debate and have opposite ideas. This, I mean, your theme here is consistent with what we heard in the Lindell report last hour from Alan Dershowitz. That's well, right. well, that's because that's the talk. Yeah. And we got to get the conversation started and get the get, get the information out there. The world have to know what's going on yeah. right up under our noses. It's too many things going on and people don't want you to talk about it. They want you to stay six feet, 10 feet, mask up, go take all of these shots. Uh -huh. That's what they, so that you can be pretty much out of your mind How and don't know whether you coming or going. That's right. Yeah. Enough is enough. We have to stand up against the tyranny. We, we can no longer allow them to lead us like sheep being led to a slaughter. That's right. Okay. Absolutely. We have to wake up. We have to stand up. Let me tell you something. When it comes to these global elitists, uh -huh. they are the minority. It's only a few of them, That's right. but it's all of us. Uh -huh. So what we going to do about it? What? We going to let them take over? We going to let them take over our country? We going to let them destroy our country? Right. Destroy our way of living? Mm -mm. Or are we going to stand up to this tyranny? That's right. Absolutely. Now, I know you ladies are, are so young that you were not even born in 1979 when the Iranian hostage crisis occurred. So I know you guys don't remember that, right? We were little, 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 so Very we little. probably wouldn't have remembered it. I didn't think I you were even born it. yet. So, um, Mr. Hart. <laughs> uh, but that was 66 Americans held by the Iranians that took our embassy for, mm -hmm. And they held them for 444 days. And of course, everybody tied, a lot of people tied yellow ribbons around a tree from that Tony Orlando and Dawn song. And we remember when Ronald Reagan was sworn in and he, after he was sworn in, announced during the congressional luncheon there in the Capitol that our hostages had passed out of Iranian air space. Now, I was about 12 years old or so. And I remember standing on the lawn of the U.S. Capitol, watching the inauguration and having people with their transistor radios on around us to hear it. He goes into the U.S. Capitol after being sworn in, has his con traditional congressional luncheon, gets up to the microphone, announces this, and the transistor radios around us were still on because everybody was getting ready for the presidential parade. And the crowd screamed and yelled with excitement that our hostages had cleared mm -hmm. Iranian air airspace and were on the way home. But ladies, tonight we are hearing from members of Congress that we may now have 8,000 hostages on the ground for the Taliban to grab a hold of. And Biden is going to leave them. You want to comment? Oh. Yeah. You know, it's and a really, it's a sad day. It's, very it's a sad. sad day in America. And if that happened, then Biden really needs to be removed. Mm -hmm. He do. By, he needs to be removed yeah. by any means necessary. Because you don't leave the American people behind. You should not have pulled out our soldiers and leave the American people and our weaponry there. What did he think was going to happen? Mm. We don't have time to be negotiating with the Taliban. They terrorists. That's right. We have a military over here. He needs to use it That's by right. any means necessary yeah. to get our 8,000 American citizens out of there. And 8,000, I think that's a, just a low number, just a number that's really being thrown out there to us because we really don't know. Some things got burnt up. We really don't know the true number. But still, if it was a hurricane going on, they would send our troops over there to rescue people. Why can't we rescue Americans That's right. before any Afghan uh, individual come over here to the United States of America and cross our border? All American citizens That's should be right. removed and, and, and rescued 
from Afghanistan. I think it's a dog on disgrace. And I hope that we get to talk a little bit more about it tomorrow on Diamond and Silk Chit Chat Live Show. But but right now, I want you all to understand what's going on. Yeah. What you see happening over there in Afghanistan could be happening right here in That's America. Right. It can happen because we got a diabolical demonic imbecile sitting up there in the White House making these crazy decisions with our borders wide open. Right. We don't know who's crossing that border, who's who's coming into our country. And then they're taking and using American tax dollars to fly these individuals into all of these different mm -hmm. locations. We don't know if this is ISIS. We don't know if these people gonna wanna just rise up and start chopping off heads. Yep. We don't know who these doggone That's people right. is. And they still got this so-and-so and so-and-so that I'm gonna be using so-and-so and so-and-so. Cause we ain't gonna do a lot of cussing. Cussing, can't do right. a lot of cussing. But they still got his so-and-so so and so on right there in the White House with his finger. His finger is right there at the button of the nuclear call. Who Hello. got the nuclear football? Please get, it, please get it away from him. Somebody, please get it away from him. And, because, and, and how do we know that they're not trying to orchestrate anything over here? Right here. Because all of that that's happening in Afghanistan, that is being orchestrated. orchestrated. You got to sit down and talk to terrorists. No, what? we don't talk to terrorists. We don't negotiate with, with terrorists. terrorists. And then to yep. leave a weaponry over there. Those people can be using that same referee against American right. citizens. Absolutely. Absolutely. We had a General Thomas McInerney on, three-star general, retired last night. He said, and he was in charge of NORAD Alaska and things in the Pentagon, and he, he, he's got a great resume. Three-star general, retired, Gen Lieutenant General Thomas McInerney. He said there is what is known as NEO, and it's initials for, for a military document on how you pull out of a country. And I said to him, is this done, has this been done on purpose? He said, absolutely. They have not followed the military manual of how we exit a country, get our people out, get our equipment out, and then the military leaves. That this has been done deliberately on yes. purpose. That's right. And then look at it. Jim Pro Joe, just around June the 11th, remove the contingency and rescue uh, program that President Trump and them had in place to rescue Americans whenever they're in this type of situation. They removed that. So why would you remove something that's going to help American that's citizens? Right. And why are you going to leave our American citizens? I tell you what, I think that the whole Biden regime need to go to Afghanistan, yeah. Afghanistan and we leave them, leave them there. That's right. Okay? And then get our, get our American yeah. citizens. Yeah. And and there you know was no one negotiating when it comes to our American citizens. That's right. That you know the four-star general, what was he, the CIA director, four-star general Hayden, for uh, George W. said that uh, the Trump supporters and the anti-vaxxers ought to be shipped over to Afghanistan. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. See, and, and let me tell you this. Let me just say this here. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. You know, they always talk about us on the right. Uh -huh. Always talk about Trump supporters. We got a hostage situation look like in Afghanistan, but we got one right here up under the Biden regime and his Justice Department right here in the United States. That's right. You got people still locked up from January the 6th and you're not giving them due process. That's right. 80 That's hostages. Right. 80 so hostages. what are we dealing with? Do we have, are we dealing with terrorists right here in the United States? Right. Our own government? Hmm. 80 hostages right now is what you're saying. Yep, that's right. That's exactly you're what You're not giving saying. them no due process. That's right. Why are you still holding them? That's right. Why are you holding the videos? Why are you holding the security videos? Why are you holding the information that they're asking that's for right. and that's needed with no due process? And we're going to have Roger Stone on here in just a minute. The, uh, the, 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 the rocket scientist at the FBI figured out he had nothing to do with this, quote, insurrection January 6th. They finally cleared him. We'll have him on about that. And then we'll have Sidney Powell on a little bit later. So you guys are just falling right in line with tonight's theme. So thank you. Oh, thank you. And thank you for having us. You all make sure you tune in tomorrow night, 9 o'clock Central, right here on Frank Speaks Diamond and Silk Chit Chat Live. And we're going to be coming on weeknights. That's Monday through Friday, every night right. from 9 o'clock p.m. Central, 10 o'clock Eastern. Absolutely. And let me ask you, ladies, have you... T tomorrow night, when that show starts, will you finally be able to say things that you have not been able to say for months and months and months on other platforms? Yes. 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 We will be able to really have a conversation. Yes. Especially when it comes down to Pfizer, when it comes down to this vaccine, what we really truly think That's and right. what the public need to know. That's we right. are going to talk about it. Yeah. So you have had to self-censor to stay on certain platforms, but tomorrow night... No more self-censoring. 
No, uh, this is about freedom of speech. It's about right freedom here. of speech. We can let loose and say what everybody keeps thinking That's and right. are afraid to say. That's right. All right, 9 p.m. Central Time to 10 p.m. Central, Monday through Friday, live, exclusively right here, frankspeech.com, lindelltv.com. And that means now, folks, you know why I'm, I'm excited about this for many, many reasons, but you know why now? Because now at a 9 o'clock, I get to go off the air. I don't have to have the, uh, oh, well, let's go a little longer, or even the temptation on my part to go a little longer. I look at the clock and I think, oh, it's nine o'clock. I'll go another six, seven minutes, finish my thought. I'm not gonna be able to do that anymore. My wife is very happy. So now maybe we can actually have dinner together. It'll be a late dinner, nine o'clock central. But guess what? She loves it. She says, thank God for diamond and silk, because now I know he'll be getting off the air at nine central, not 920, not 930. So I'm glad you're coming behind me for many reasons, but you're gonna make me discipline myself because guess what? At 859, I'm getting off the air and making way for you guys. That's right. Bless your heart. And while you're eating dinner, you can be watching Diamond and Silk Chit Chat Live. You got that right. All right. We're looking forward to it. Folks, tweet, All text, right. email, Facebook. Call friends. Tell them the inaugural program tomorrow night. Frankspeech.com, LindellTV.com, Diamond and Silk tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Central Time. You're, you, you just got to spread the word, folks. It's a big deal to us, and it's a big deal for the country. It's a big deal for freedom of speech. So tomorrow night, we will all be tuning in and excited for your first broadcast. Thank you guys for being with us tonight. Thank you Thanks for having, having us. us. Thank you. Diamond and Silk checking in. Big night tomorrow night.